All right, guys, welcome in to a one life operation here at Squad Ops. We have Operation Green Acres, a classic. And for once, I'm not uh, squad leading, commanding, anything. We're going to get to see the action eye in the sky mode today. I like cheese. Yes, this is true. Uh, Green Acres, I mean, there's some cheese involved sometimes, usually. More often than not. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, but let's take a look at what Green Acres is. If you're not familiar, here on your Rivka, Got green acres R British are stranded kind of sort of in the middle of Yerivka in uh, Petrivka I believe that's the name of this locale and the idea is that uh, they've been mistropped supplies with which to hold out in their position and so the Russians are circling and are going to attempt to drive them out by um, by destroying the position. Uh, the British won't know until the last minute where the supply drops are, um, but they'll have to risk sending forces out to gather these supplies. Uh, if they do, they get some pretty beefy uh, emplacements they, uh, they are authorized, uh, let's see, well, they're authorized, they can build, uh, if they have the supplies, two HMGs, a tow, and a mortar, in addition to fortifications. So it's pretty important for the Brits to, um, oh, whoops, pretty important for the Brits to figure out what they've got going on here. Um, We'll take a look at the British loadouts here in a moment. As soon as I pull up the, there we go. British loadouts, um, actually, eh, this is pretty, this is pretty good. Uh, we have uh, one SL, two FTLs, one AR, two ARs, one medic per squad. They get a MG at the platoon level, along with four hats, it's hats, not lats, uh, and two engineers. And like I said, they can build two MG or HMGs, uh, a tow and a mortar as possible logistics are available. The Russians attacking, on the other hand, they got a lot more toys. Uh, we won't have an air assault option today. So the Russians have the option of infantry or mechanized. Infantry option, more platoon kits. Mechanized option, BTR-80s. Um, also along with the infantry option, they have a platoon mortar. And they also get support missions. Commander support missions. Uh, two times artillery smoke barrage. Ten times uh, mortar salvos. Uh, as far as the infantry option um, and the mechanized option, both squad makeups are the same. One SL, two FTLs, two ARs, one medic. The infantry option has platoon kits. They get four lats and four engineers. And for the mechanized option, they get crewmen as needed for the two BTR-80s. They also get an additional transport truck. Infantry option, they're running on their own. So there is uh, no transport trucks used for the infantry option as part of the rollout. The other side of the coin is um, they get to start in a few different positions. So taking a look at the map, infantry, Russia get to start at any five of these map markers on, on the map that you see here. Um, it actually is six in the document. I can't count. So main is also one of these options. 
uh, in addition to Fox 5, November 5, Oscar 10, Kilo 12, Fox 11. Mechanized Russia only starts at Maine. So there's the uh, differences for you. Uh, we're going to be following British for both rounds today. Players are already in the server. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, fly on over. Take a look at the, the town that they're going to be defending. The British can spawn anywhere in this town. The Russians are going to... We won't know what the Russians are doing until the round gets going to live. Commanders are briefing right now. I imagine we'll get a... Uh, yeah, the commanders are briefing right now, trying to figure out their plan. And then the uh, players are here and doing their thing. Let's go ahead and get a squad so we can grab some command comms. Take out your uh, shovel there, buddy. Yeah, yeah sorry. Oh, Let's stream. No, I like cheese. Um, uh, stream do fromage. Yes. How are you guys doing today? You're in the wrong I am. I am here. <laughs> Whoops. Dun, 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 dun. This is our turf. Oh, Hov is trying to sneak, stay in here, sneaky. Oh, fuck it, get out. Oh. Hovis? Let's see what Squad these guys one. are doing. Hovis? Trying to be sneaky in the goddamn. What server is this on? Um. Also, Digit, what's going on? Uh, Angry and CO asking what's over this on. This is a closed server. I'm pretty sure this is not an open operation. You don't belong here, boy. We don't take kind. This is not. Um, this is on our, this is a closed server. You need a uh, basic SOTT course in order to participate. Um, so these players have gone through that. It's a short indoctrination course just uh, expectations and how to participate in these operations. Uh, we do have some operations coming up this month that don't require basic. So keep your eye on our calendar at squadops.gg for that. And you can participate in these without basic. Uh, for today, we are basic only. And uh, Because uh, they, I don't know, some dog bite. I know we definitely have some coming up in the, on the calendar for this month. I don't know if our schedule is changing too. That might change. I think we might be going an hour later sometime soon. Don't quote me on that. So it looks like we're running, I think we're running three squads per team today. I'll make sure you're the first to die. Hiding behind the yeah, we're running three squads per team plus a commander. I guess we're the uh, south, southern squad now. We're going to be following the British today in blue. Russia's going to be in red. Uh, for operations, if you're not familiar, uh, we switch sides. So the this team will play British this round, and then round two, we will switch and Russia will play as British. I believe we have, for this round, we have Balchik Outrun as commander, and his squad leads are Revy, Gunny the Medic, and Captain Morgan. Once his SLs and FPLs die, our SLs and FPLs can die. Uh, let's take a look here. Yeah. We have Lodgies already placed. Well, here's the, we need to make sure the first one to die. Looks like we got a Lodgy in Hotel 5, 9, or 2. Golf 816 and Mike 912. So there's an extra 3.4k build and 3.4k ish ammo out there, which is uh, pretty good running the vanilla version of this operation, I believe. So it's a little bit stronger. 
it is weaker and stronger in some cases. I think British get hats because the modded lats are stronger against vehicles. But it doesn't really matter. Four hats against two BTR 80s is pretty strong math. Oh my god. What happened? And no indication of Russian movement yet. So we're going to be waiting on that. Um, looks like we're going to be seeing a more southern defense of Petrivka here. Everyone's con congregate around the south east side right now, just to start. Um, but obviously, we'll see. We'll see British move out to these locations as well. I think. Or at least, or at least the farm down here. I imagine we'll also see them push out to this. Yeah, I got a beautiful screenshot right now. I have uh, never been known for being professional. Back. Yeah, that looks so good. Good dog. No, no. Hard to tell where the Russians are right now. If they're mechanized or if they're going to be rolling with infantry. Wow, look at that. Who's the Russian commander? Crouching, so he's taking Russian them. commander is Silas. With Killer J, Frost, and Lawn Darts. Now let's see what's going on down here. Sylvian has a strong guy man. behind him. It's very stoic of you. Another challenge. Oh. The road to glory is a painful one. All right, guys. Enough with the parkour. Let's get off the buildings. Off the buildings. Come on. Get on down. I wasn't going to say it, but I'm glad someone did. I was, stay professional I was saying here, that. Nobody listen to me. There's a reason I'm for on. that. Operation Fisher Quinn. Great question, Digit. Um, uh, admin, real quick. Uh, Russia is ready for live, so if we can move a little, a little quick. Russia ready for live. No, all good. Just let you know. Nothing. Thank you. I think Russia is doing the mechanized option. Don't see them on a the map anywhere near here. Uh, we'll figure it out. Are you John Cena? Look at. That silent death is doing his cardio on the fence. I should have never became a paratrooper. <laughs> this is it's beautiful. Oh, boys, 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 boys. Oh, yeah. Um, silent is doing his cardio on the fence. If you, uh, if you boys are, if you boys are oh, down, wait, you can wait, pull up to my crib shit. and have a bonfire. Boy, saying that's uh, oh no! Yeah, I just right the, the red fire, the, the red little house right here. Yeah. Oh my God. Yo! I heard fire. In the oh yo! Part of my wow! Brain. Yeah. Have a oh, seat, boys. Oh, yeah, this is, this Have is, a seat this. around the fire. Don't sit on the fire. We don't have to look at your dumb ass. He's shitting fire. <laughs> Oh, there's firewood over here. Yeah, that's slightly yeah. better. Oh. Might have to take my shovel out to see. Yes. Got my spittoon buggy right here. You know, I got the well use a when shovel to split thing. wood once because the axe broke. It's harder than it looks. Damn. Silent death. Doing what silent like death does. <laughs> Your face is broken. Oh. How would that would be fire. Oh, you know, I wonder. I wonder how many. Uh, to LMG. Let me get away from the folks here for a second. I wonder how many lodges they're going to take. If Russia starts at main. These two are pretty smart takes, I think. This one may be a little rough to get because if they just decide to roll down here and go west to east, which is possible, um, Ru 
Russia could spoil that Western Lodgy. I think the North Lodgy is pretty out of play. Hey Gunny, uh, can you unlock your squad? I'm gonna have Raggy jump in with you. Same shit, uh, different oh, Raggy. All right, we're gonna go ahead and listen to this brief for British forces round one. It should be happening shortly, as soon as. Never mind. Sound like it's over here. Still have a lat available. Do you want to give that to Ishmi, Gunny? All right, I was getting Raggy sorted. I'm ready now. Hey there, guys. So our, our mission was simple. Uh, it was to drop in behind enemy lines, perform recon, uh, get some high value <coughs> targets identified for airstrikes. Unfortunately, we overshot by quite a bit, and now we're in the center. What was that? Russian, uh, Russian threat. So we have supplies scattered all over the area. You can see them marked on your map. We're going to hold the radio here. It's our only hope of calling in for for re basically getting ourselves out. So we're going to protect the radio at all costs. We're going to try to get as much supplies back as possible to kind of fortify the area, get some ammo for our anti-armor, and hold out until we can get exfilled. Um, the important thing is that you stay alive, stay quiet, try not to give up your locations as you're trying to get out to those supply trucks. Uh, we don't have any uh, any backup. It's just us and the guys next to you. Any questions? We're gonna position one squad on the point. We're gonna position one squad in the west town there and one squad to the north. If those towns get pushed, overran in any way, your squad leaders are gonna have you pull back, whether that through the, uh, the ditch. Is that Tedish? I don't know. Or uh, via the road or maybe a roundabout way if we're getting pushed on by enemy armor. The important thing is that you stay alive, you call out contacts and try not to give up your positions. Thank you guys. I don't think that's Tedish. All right. Squad leaders, let's break them out. We place mines before live. Tedish still goes by his handle, as far as I know. I'm not entirely sure. Anywho, so that's the plan. Looks like one Lodgy is... I can't teleport. Uh, one Lodgy is... going to be in play, it looks like. Oh, I see some line. Oh, Russians are ready to go and they're coming south to north. Looks like the infantry option is in play. And we're live. Live, live, live. So here we go. A little bit of map play here to get us started. The British are moving out to their positions. Normally we follow attacker force, uh, but I think we're gonna follow defenders today. If only because uh, more decisions are made, I think defending this operation compared to others. I think, I could be wrong. Squads, once you're uh, situated, you have your people spread out in your building. Appreciate y'all coming out to uh, see the operation today. Uh, see 16 of y'all in chat right now. And, uh, your second buddy team will be your early recon. Uh, put them wherever you see best, wherever your blind spots are. You know what I have to do? I need to change my audio for command. Enemy walk right past the supply buddy team, then for them to engage and get killed. Command voice, a little too loud in my head. <laughs> And as I put it down in ammo box, probably because he forgot. Big funny. We do have different ways to run the operation while we're vanilla. You put a camouflage bag down in the middle of the <laughs> field. Yeah, it's pretty funny, but that was my orders, wasn't it? I wish I could. Like a building. I wish I could talk to these guys right now. We gotta rush to get this lodge. You want so we don't fucking die in the team, though. Uh, True. Uh, nice and slow. But, uh, like, no, no dilly-dallying, you know what I mean? If they, uh, if they don't do it, then, uh, sad times.
Well, boys, I had a wedding. I got to be at, at approximately 40 minutes. So. <laughs> yeah, that's also the reason dub. you're with me. Yeah. Wow. Look, you found it. It was nice of you to come with, anyway. <laughs> oh, you, want, you didn't want me to come? All right, looks like we got some digging going out over here. Let's take a look at the eastern side. Russians still about a grid and a half away, taking their time. Probably got another three, four minutes before contact. British sticking in here. We got Sven, Hovis, Haydite. Two ARs and a lat. And Boomer. Right up you with me. Rice. No, no, British OP, because the everyone can steady no, their gun. Over here, man. Over here, over here. Right, you're gonna stick with step because stick with the hat because he's pods. I'm gonna need you. You're my right. body. Right, I want you guys to stay here and look at the Ross roll. I'm gonna go over there and we'll, we'll check out the uh, north and the west side, okay? North west side, copy. Okay, could be over there. Okay, it's when? Everybody got the grip pods, so everyone can be laser beams for British. Let's go check the south. Fulcrum, D Leak, Silent, and Grimnir. Grimnir. That's pretty much mm -hmm. RLE for every up. Because we can, if they don't know where we're at, we can like, maneuver on them and get the whole squad like ready to take them out. But obviously, once we fire, they know where we're at, then just blast them. Yep. Yeah. I'm important, so I'm going to go find a hole to hide in. He's important. Fulcrum's fire team lead, probably. Uh, Fulcrum, then. I'm second important. No, I'm most for it. I'm more important. But without me, you're less important. Oh, Fulcrum's lat. There, right, he's got the hat kit. Or lat kit. I don't know. Ooh. J949, so the Brits have spotted the Russians crossing crossing the lake. How many? At least one squad, possibly multiple. Morgan had eyes. Uh, squad two, let's go ahead and have a fire team come south. Uh, let's start that journey now. And Morgan immediately pulling his OP back in. Open areas are going to be brutal. And it's kind of amazing that Morgan spotted these guys already. So uh, clearly, one of some from his squad spotted him. Of the radio circle, so. J893. I don't think that, uh, that, that actually... this is weird how they pushed out first. It's also funny that these guys got spotted. Um, everyone is now focused south. No one's in the farm. The first lodgy. It looks like the only lot. Oh well, no, they're going to recover the northern lodgy as well. Pretty free lodgy up here, considering Russia spawned south. This lodgy is going to be heading back in the nick of time for this attack. The entire Russian platoon is lined up across two grids. <laughs> and I don't think one squad is going to repel the entire Russian platoon. Russians now in the tree line direct south. Or, yeah, direct south of the village. Is this bad? The Russians actually pushed all the way up. Londars has got his squad really close. Within 50 meters of British positions. Understood. And these are the only guys that the British have spotted. Pretty, pretty open positions, and they're actually crossing right now. 20 meters off the road south, 20 meters off the road south, Jack, uh, 998. 
Copy. Yep. Squad 2 status on my fire team. Ooh. Holy shit. Uh, I was shooting. GL's close there to land on Grimnir. I didn't know Russia got GL's. Infantry option superiority. Fulcrum eats it. And that's one hat down. Here comes smoke grenades. And the mortar barrage. Raggy's gone down. No, that's Pouchik Outrun. That's the commander. The commander died. Russians taking the farm unopposed. And the British have a Lodgy recovered, but their FOB is over here southeast. Oh no. The Russians have the position completely surrounded. Silent has this to shoot out of is not very good. Four to two. Whoa, are these guys moving in? These guys are moving into the field and they're getting cut down. Oh no, they're crawling through the field. Who thought this was a good idea? At least the Russians are shooting over them. More suppression going down. Here comes another oh, smoke barrage. And the Russians are just charging, hard charging across. Back of the way in the southeast compound. They're pushing past? The Russians are just overwhelming the position. The British are running. The silent dies. Alva just breaches and clears the shed. And there goes Silent. Wow. The Russians have secured. Grimnir is about to die. Grimnir takes down one through the wall. And ends up getting destroyed in turn. Fulcrum was already dead. Morgan looks like he's in charge now. Dealey eats a grenade, it looks like, and a lodgy. We have infantry in the town at this time, infantry within the town at this time. The one NSA spy is uh, getting shot by Polish, Polish Serb, and, Poli and uh, NSA spy goes down. Uh, a uh oh, a little friendly fire there, potentially. Uh, maybe that's Raggy. Raggy's hiding underneath the lodgy. This has gone pear shaped for British. We're gonna take a look at the farm over here real quick. The Russians have a elevated position, but they have to cross an open field and the British know they're coming. Russia got a lot more mortars here. So I expect to see that coming in very shortly. I expect these guys to get friggin' mortared any second now. Oh. <laughs> Bowman's got a lad out. Mortars are landing. Uh, the Russians must have found the fob. A fire team defending tank tank goes down. Hovis has actually gotten behind enemy lines over here. 
The rest of his fire team's still stuck in the field, but Hovis is getting shot. Hovis got tanked by uh, Snowfall here. Blind fire? Wow. Unlucky for Hovis. Snowfall got tanked by a uh, spamming AR. The Russians now solidly control. Ooh, Stanic Waves eats a Geo. Ronnie Reagan and Raggy are still alive here. Working on that, let's stand by. The radio is in earshot and it looks like Russians are moving to secure. Taking heavy oh, they call a mortar on Hovis. <laughs> oh man. Grenades coming in. Ronnie and Raggy are the only ones holding this Lodgy right now. And they're trying to dig the radio. Ronnie's got to make a move here if he wants to secure the radio. It's that he gives his position away by shooting the window. I think NVL has got his number if Ronnie takes this corner. Squad leader. And Ronnie gets executed. Polish adding fire across the way. Raggy has moved out from underneath his Lodgy truck. The Russians are going to have a clear uh, strategic victory here. Is that a grenade? Oh, and <laughs> they're just shooting rockets into the building now. I think the uh, I think the lat actually killed him through the wall. NVL has to uh, bandage here, and Rag is going to get that kill. Polish and Killer J execute him from different angles, but he does get Fisco. The radio still lives. And I think the British are trying to retake. Yep, they're coming in through the ditch. So a squad is coming back in. Numbers can't be looking too good for British right now. But Russia um, are losing a few people. Take a look at the position. Russia oh, definitely secured the area. And the British are coming from the north woods. They're going to have to cross the ditch here. Is there a command for the objective today? Uh, rather than us asking, uh, their <laughs> command is dead. Command was in the building over here. He was just chilling. Now Londars is in the building. He's doing nothing but giving orders right now. Uh, the command is to defend for British forces. Russia are attacking and holding out until they can be relieved. Volnix gets chewed up through a fence here. Polish gets tanked by one of the last bullets being shot through the fence. He's got a bandage. Fuck, 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 fuck. CPT. Where's he getting you from? SPT. I think the house on the other side of the fence. Okay, hey, there's a guy in the break in the wall. I'm dead. Hey, Morgan died. Liberal! Welcome back, Liberal. Oh, chant command explain the scenario. Uh, no. There, uh, the, you can go on the uh, website and grab the op doc if you'd like, or it's posted in the Discord as part of the announcement. Um. Squadops.gg. Sir SBT kills Liberal in turn and decides to run out in the open. Gets shot twice. 
And he's got a bandage now or else he's dead. And I think he might actually be dead. Polish has got his number in regardless. Nope. He bled out. <laughs> Sorry. We don't have the check him in. Got Ishmi. Only the radio by himself. British numbers are pretty thin right now. Perry comes back in. Head Busta by himself trying to get some sort of momentum here the russians are closing in from the west it's just ready adding fire support head busted just got shot at by a lat but he kills polish and revy's about to get walked up on he knows they're coming though viper is dead oh yeah let's go And the grenades are flying past Revy right now. It's bad. He's going to have to throw his own. That might have enough of a bounce. I don't think so, actually. No, it's going to hit Flame Mage and Inky. But, um... Inky got hit by that pretty badly. Flame Mage, moderate damage. Ravi, you want to fall back a little bit, maybe? Revy's gonna go down there. He's got no support. He's by himself. It's just Ishmi and Perry on the objective. Fader dies. Revy's dead. Uh, Lagar. Wait, the Russians are smoking. Artillery smoke's being called in here. Not sure why. GL's pretty significant. Clearly cutting the British visibility down to size. Russians are in solid control with two plus... Uh, about a squad and a half left. <laughs> Lagar and the rest of the remaining forces here are pretty well cut off but they still have they had control of the radio by sight but i don't think they do it anymore frost goes in to check and decides nope we're running these guys down and ishmi gets lit up by two russians bowman and frost hiding underneath the lodgy can't get away with that forever. Utopian finds his way to the main drag and is able to put a few rounds up hill, up, uh, up the road here. Yeah, he's gonna have to fall back. Lagar, hiding beneath the other Lodgy, has all the ammo he need he wants, but uh, is not going to find success here. I think we're down to two British remaining. Grenade going, oh, smoke grenade going in. They're gonna try to retake the radio position. Yep, and the Russians know he's here for sure. Spamming the fence. GL's coming in on the lodging now. Grenade being thrown short, not gonna get anyone. Pretty strong move from the south. Russia cat crossing the road with multiple squads. Smoke barrage. Mortars on point. GL's in tow. Utopian JJ is going to try to make it in here. Mortars are hitting beyond the position. And Russia are bored now. They are destroying Lodges. Still a pretty smart move. Utopians gotta be careful. Laji explodes. It's bad news for him. He's gonna push him towards the objective and he gets destroyed. Oh, he got so destroyed. Alright, it's down to Lagar and he's the only one left. Lagar, you must push and secure the radio. Lagar got happy clamper though, I thought. Looked like he got a happy clamper. 
and Legar given the prod to uh, complete his mission. Pretty sure he saw Bowman there. And he missed the chance to take Bowman out as he ran back across. Take our take it down, Zachy. And he gets executed through the fence. And that's going to be GG for round one. is a community focused on immersive and tactical gameplay. Realistic event scenarios create a cinematic experience for players and spectators. God Ops is geared towards those who want to experience the rush and thrill of combat within planned operations with defined mission objectives and dynamic engagements. If you're looking for hardcore, tactical, and cinematic gameplay, God Ops is perfect for you. Our missions and operations are usually streamed live on Twitch and archived to our YouTube channel. To participate in our squad or armor events, head over to our website and Discord for details of how to join in the fun. Alrighty, guys. We're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to talk about that last round, too. Because, gee whiz. Round one. Pretty strong push there from Russia. Russia started south. And they were infantry. They started south. They pushed the whole guy. They pushed everyone out in the line. It was really strong. Really great effort there from Russia. Ending up with a squad plus there at the end. Probably closer to two squads. I don't think they really took any casualties at all. Uh, British, on the other hand, fell victim to uh, the Southeast strong point. Uh, I don't think they were anticipating Russia coming from the South. Obviously not. But... It was pretty strong. And there's really, really not much more you can say from that. <laughs> it's, it's nothing you could really do. British Lodge is getting placed here. Might have a Russia starting at main. So might be seeing Mecha Russia here for round two. Meanwhile, round one's Russia is now round two's British. Ah, uh, yeah, I would not anticipate Silas starting down here in the south. I think the northeast is pretty strong to defend for British, especially if they get the supplies. They can build, they can build in, in placements on roofs. 
as far as putting the radio, okay, you only have down, and then you only we'll have, have one location. And, uh, we'll go from there. I guess you have two technically. You could put the radio here, but you can't really defend it. This building, on the other hand, this is the building you want to put your radio in for Green Acres. You've got fences all the way around. You can defend this location. It is exposed to the north, but they have to get through this field. Be much crawling around in this cornfield later on. <laughs> yeah, I guarantee yeah. you, Silent's going to crawl through this later on. <laughs> let's put let's put some breeze wire in. <laughs> Just him. Do we get a? Do we get builds? Can we build? I don't know. I think that depends on how many trucks we rescue, and we'll we'll let uh, we connect. Sandbags and wire. You know what that means. Nice, nice hearing you. Yeah, it's good to have you back, Louisville. Players coming in for round number two. Hey, Bowman, good job last round. You killed uh, two enemy last round with your ladder. Oh, I did. Yeah. I didn't even check. Nice. <laughs> Sick. There. And we're going to go ahead and reset for round two about what Green Acres is. Green Acres is a defend op for British. They'll be defending uh, Petrivka here. They can start anywhere in the blue area. They have to put their radio in a red building. And they have three lodges that have been misdropped. Um, they could be in any one of the blue locations. It's the only way they'll be able to build things. So the trade-off of tr running your troops out to get these lodges is do you risk getting the build points in return or in exchange for having a smaller defense if the Russians come knocking early? Usually you can rescue one or two lodges. Um... I think the British weren't entirely ready to receive a southern attack. The defense plan round one wasn't entirely pristine, but um, it is possible to defend the south, especially if you have a Russian commander that is very slow, like me. Um, <laughs> but uh, you got some options. Uh, we'll go over the uh, kits real quick for British. Uh, squads are one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, one medic. They have four LATs and an MG at the platoon level, along with a couple of engineers to help build things faster. If they get the supplies recovered, they can build two HMGs, a tow, and a mortar, along with... Uh, the generic fortifications. But Russia, on the other hand, have a decision to make. Russia could go a one of two directions. Air assault's not going to be an option for today. Uh, they can go one of two directions. Wait, the GLs aren't on this list. Oh. So nowhere does it say Russia are a lot of GLs. Interesting. I imagine that we will see Russia GLs used very strongly in round two. Anyway, Russia... Uh, per the document, are supposed to have uh, each squad is one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, one medic per squad. If they go infantry, they get a few more platoon kits. They get some lats and they get some engineers. Uh, they also have the option for a platoon mortar, which you did not see round one. They also have a bunch of, they have some smoke barrages, and they have some mortar salvos. A lot of more mortar salvos. 
for the mechanized option instead of the extra kits, the border fob, and the fire support, the indirect fire support, they get two BTR-80s. That trade-off's kind of strong, uh, especially when you consider all of the lats that British get. So it's not entirely the easiest uh, trade to make. Anywho, we're gonna go ahead and drop down here and see what Silas has uh, planned for British day. round two. Did a really good job taking that village. Uh, I definitely didn't think we were ahead as much as we were, so good work there. Uh, so we're on the inverse side of yesterday or last round's operation, so we'll be defending our fob equipment while we try to regain our supplies scattered throughout the AO. So to do that, um, we're going to send out two teams, one from Frost Squad to secure the Lodge at Mike 6-3 and a team from Wandart Squad to secure the Lodge at Hotel 5-6. Uh, hopefully both those supplies make it back here in one piece and we're able to fortify. Um, the spread of the rest of the teams is as followed. Uh, in the northeastern quadrant of the objective area, we're going to have Killer Squad spread out either amongst the buildings or hills. Uh, nearby, providing security for the northeastern sector. The western, northwestern sector up by Juliet 7, watching those trees, is going to be Londart's team. Uh, he's going to be setting up a defensive perimeter there. And then in the south, the southern set of buildings, as well as the southeastern trench a little bit, is going to be Frost guys spread out there. So uh, when those lodges get back, we have two priorities, right? Our first priority is to get a toe down and a good position to engage enemy possible armor that might be in the area. Uh, our second priority is this field behind me. We're going to get some razor wire down here, and that's probably going to be a detachment from killers, guys, but we'll see how it goes as the round develops. Um, we want to get some razor wire out here just so they can't crawl up to the radio going through this field right here. But yeah, the. the FOB in this building right here is our main priority, right? If you see that there's a gap in our defenses or something, or your leadership goes down, collapse in the general vicinity of this building to where you can protect it and make sure that radio does not go down. Does anyone have any questions? All right, sweet. Squad leaders, go ahead and break oh. them out, get them ready for live. We start anywhere in the Petripka area, so pretty much anywhere in this village or beyond, if need be, for those extra teams going out. Here we go. And it looks like three Longies have been placed. I think they're only planning for the first two. Or maybe just one. Or maybe they're gonna take two. I would not anticipate them going to get three. Not as many numbers as you would like to see to try to get more. If you had more squads, I guess the trade-off there is, like I said, I just said it's just a possibility that uh, with more squads, you, you have more people attacking you. That's a way stronger assault that you could possibly be seeing, so. Engineers have eight razor wires. You want us to place them? Engineers start with razor wire. That's strong. Well, that's why that's why I don't think we should be on the east side of the road. No response. Place that razor wire. Yeah, sorry, I was talking the wrong fucking comms. Um, yeah, go ahead and get those engineers to get their fortifications and stuff down. Uh, let's go ahead and get that razor wire down in the cornfield, so we don't have to worry about that later. We have more build to play with. I'm gonna take my team and we're gonna go scout around for tow location. So, you know that cornfield he's talking about? Place at least four spread out in there. And then Pretty strong play here. Break ways wire. I agree. Copy. I'll go for. The so they do make, go Vix. They're gonna go like northeast by the center section. I bet. Yeah. Uh, Bar talk. You're gonna get a kill. Yeah. I hope. I hope they bring vehicles. You think they will? Hopefully. I. Ho I Who, who's I, the other uh, command? It's uh, Balchik Outrun. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna bring him. I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> I've been gone too long, Jesus. 
Hey, we found a good spot for the tow. If so, anyone yeah. sees if a better position, bits, let me know. I hope but I get right now, this little hillside right here. Well, get killed, Bartok. Oh, yeah. Pretty not, good just kill them, Oh, no grip pod. When did they take the grip pods off all the rifles? Uh, I don't, I don't I have, have one yes, on my meta class. Oof, why don't you have a grip pod on your rifle? They just had to nerf me, and that's why. Oh, that's sad. OWI, please fix. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, good luck. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Um, can, so I just need you to tell me. Ooh, I got some lag there coming through. Yeah, yeah, check all the windows, where they look, uh -huh. uh, where they're exposed to. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of explosives on the other yeah. team, right? So if you're just hiding in a building, um, good chance that frag rounds and heat rounds are coming in. Lonard's got his, uh... Defensive guy set up. Oh, let's find Liberal. Where's Liberal at? I heard him. Here he is. Squad three, get and I think we're towards in here. We get right to that building. I think you guys are good. Just make sure everyone is within the blue radio. Sorry, I was AFK. Very cool. Liv, welcome back. Come again. Thank you, sir. Good to be back. Okay, it's talking to someone local. Uh, British is ready, by the way. They've been admin. Yes, sir. We, uh, we passed that up. You guys running to go get a lodgy? Yeah, just Alpha and I. Well, get a kill, Alpha. I want to ask another question, but I'm not going to. I'm sure there'll be many discussions about this other question after the operation. I have, don't, uh, don't no worries, though. Nice thing, too, is that if we have to, we can turn around and face guns south. Yep. We got, yeah, we can we can put rounds over our friendly's heads. Looks like these guys are running to get the they're east lodgy here. Shot, they're going to be pushing from oh, wait, the uh, west side, so we may have to just reposition anyway. I, I, I'm all for it. Rain men's wake. Rain Man, Chad likes your wig. Did you find your spot, Sasha? Uh, what now? Your wig. Um, not yet. It's the camo on your helmet. Yeah. Ah. It's got aluminum. I can't see it. It's got any kind of metal. It's sad. It looks majestic. Yeah. There's definitely a big difference. Well, why don't you try to stick around uh, this set of rocks here? Just north, east. Yeah, maybe, maybe a little bit. Uh, the yeah, camo. don't die. All right. Clearly, my uh, my humor is not appreciated, so we'll go somewhere else. Uh, yeah. Have you guys had these small Corona bottles? You know, they are perfect for like when you're out in the lake. Yeah, you know, and it, and it's really warm. Those are like the perfect size, so it never gets warm. They never get warm. Or margarita. Mm. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. 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 <laughs> No, we're clearly talking about 18 plus, or 21 plus things, specifically if you're a, a, a U.S. person, U.S. citizen. I remember the first time I bought those little ones was just a mistake. You know, like I thought they were the just warning ones. the cornfield barbed wired. <laughs> <laughs> Copy that. Right, we are cornfield barbed wired. Can you build some right here? Take your like, time to build it. I'll watch. Wait, we where's the? I have uh, six left. Where's the razor wire? I'm just gonna pull the wire right here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, big man, put it against that wall, so like they can't peek right up onto this barricade from that side. Where's the razor wire? I don't even uh, see it. On. It's so good. How's this? Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Let's see. Where do they put the razor wire? They're gonna be very annoyed. 
They put it. Oh, they put it out here. Oh, there's a hole in the fence. Oh no. And the massive hole up here. Of course, if you're up here, you would just die because you have no cover. Uh, we are live with round two, by the way. So let's take a look. See here. Yeah. Russia mechanized. Two times BTRs starting to make their way up the main road. Everybody making their way up the main road now. Just make sure you can still walk in between them. Perfect. We're going to follow. We're going to go over here to Alpha and uh, this is Alpha and um, Polish because they're going to be very sad very shortly, I think. Unless they get to the Lodgy first. Um, but I think Russia might have a chance to make it out of here first. <laughs> oh no. They're going to have to hold. Yeah, we don't have any wheat field. Yeah, no. If we'll, Honestly, if we get caught out here in an engagement, let's just fight, take as many of them as we can with us. I don't think we'll be getting away. I think the yep they see the truck the Russians are in death laid still I think that hill is actually gonna save them because there's also buildings over here and I can't see them so they're gonna have a pretty easy time unless the unless British or unless these Russians come into this ditch and decide to go this way but it doesn't look like that's happening Who's the dumbass left the truck out here is my question. Oh, it was Stupid airdrop a bitch. So some dumbass uh, airdropped a truck out here. Do they Wait, hear? Damn down. idiot. Do they hear the vehicles? Ah, right. uh, they have to hear their vehicles. Right. All right, get in. Oh, they're going to run it. They forgot to load the supplies. You guys have no supply in that truck. No, it's we not no, supposed maybe. to be. Okay, never mind. That's the case. Never mind. My bad. This is a lot more supplies than I think. Uh, Heck, it even fooled me. Once those lodges are in, have your engineers uh, feel free to mine the road wherever they feel. There we go. And they're dumping the supplies. So it's only 500, 500. Hey guys, Scottish. Rogue, hello. Oh, yeah, let's stand back. Alright, the toe is down. The rest of the build can be used for defenses as you all see fit. Oh, they have a toe. First time watching? Yeah. I said the first chat was hello, so. What's going on? Fuck's sake. <laughs> Russia are mech. And they are taking their time. Infantry has been offloaded. And the BTRs are rolling south towards the intersection. And two lodges have been recovered, so that's 1k, 1k. Explosion to the northwest, north. They heard an explosion northwest. Yeah, it sounded close to me, but I got some reports from my guys. It was, it was like in the village, that's why I'm trying to figure out what that was. What happened? I accidentally put down an AP mine. <laughs> That's too close. Oh, great. Where'd you go? I still need to hear you. I'm gonna let I didn't even see the AP mine. I didn't even hear it. Did you guys hear the AP mine go off? I didn't hear it. See, trust me. Trust me. If anyone asks, that never happened. <laughs> okay. 
I just suddenly oh, yeah, see like that tiny thing pointing up from the ground. I was like, oh shit, no. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so the mission here is Russ need to clear out British. We're going to be following British in blue. Uh, round one was a decisive victory for Russia. Spot looking over the south side of the town for an HMG, so I'm going to place that one. The other one's still up for grabs. Ooh, look at this plan. This plan is very nice. The problem is the plan involves a rather large detour. And uh, this attack can be successful, but there's a lot of rooftops and a lot of buildings here. The Russians are going to have a hard time pushing north from the southeast side of Petrivka. I think they'll redirect before then. Uh, very dirty to the west. Uh, BTRs are holding themselves back. You can see the you can see the Russians forming for an attack here. BTR is back here. You place the sandbar. Just can't. No, they have the tow. I think they've already built the tow. Yeah, they built the tow on the east side on the rocks. Um, so one of those BTRs is going bye bye. And it's not the best position, actually. This game is fucking awesome. Yeah. True. I was just playing uh, Escape from Tarkov for a bit. And I develop like a constant fear of getting shot yeah. and losing everything. <laughs> I play Tarkov all the time too, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and this is a very nice change of pace. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, just like, well, if I die, you know, it's all right. Very true. I think you get less anxiety in this game than you do in Tarkov. I haven't played it. But from what I've seen, another one it's basically Anxiety Simulator 101. Got some defensive emplacements here. Going up for British. Oh, and the BTR has shot Macaroni Wizard. Command. This is go for command. Uh, contact including BTR 80. India 796. India 796. Copy that. If you want to get an HMG... Oh, wait, I, no, got right. enemy I got enemy at 300 kidding. right in front of me. Come back. Come back. Retreat. You say I, I got we enemy right in front of me. <laughs> he's right in okay, front of Liberal. If he's there, shoot him. Uh, it's pretty far. Shoot him, Liberal. If you have volunteers, you can, but otherwise, don't worry about it. I don't want to make dudes run all that way. Alpha gets one. Jack wasn't looking. My bravo team, north Fragging out. Of town. Infantry contact. Copy that. Ooh, if that bounces, it's bad. Fight back into the town. That's a nice throw, though. So contact has been made northwest. Liberal, someone scoot down. Flash the tank. Jack 800, the first casualty for Russia. And the jig is up. BTRs have been revealed. When that BTR starts rolling up, because we, from our tow, we can see that area pretty well. Uh, so if he pulls up on the north Russia side, taking their time, clearing the west side. Russia. I don't think they were anticipating the northeast defense here. I think that was a Russian AR. Uh, liberal, you could crawl down. You're good. They they can't see us. They took shots at Polish. You want me to? You want me in the house? Polish. Yes, get in the house. Liberal, I'm undoubtedly good. a medic. Yeah, I'm good. Go for command. So he's. So they're going to take that position uh, that they previously had. They're talking at least a squad to their west. Plus, uh, plus the BTR, I lost one man. Oh wait. Alpha didn't die. Oh yeah, you did. We did see, um... A hundred. Lip saw. Oh, no, he's just calling out he's a hundred. Or, uh, he's, he's safe. 
And looks like Russia gonna pull back from a west-east push here. Try to go south. And we have Lat Hunters, or Hat Hunters rather, Jericho and Viper are moving out to try to snipe at BTR. Uh, they're gonna hit infantry before they see the BTR, I don't think. That's where the BTR was. Maybe they go to the farm? They have a chance to survive. Do they like all stack up on the fucking northwest? Uh, that's what I'm really hoping for, considering we haven't seen anything. Maybe we're just lucky. Um, or we already ran. I don't like their chances, but oh, God, I mean, I this BTR there. is pretty close. So funny. Go for two. We got to fight they have infantry between. They have audio on it. There's a lot of infantry, and it looks like we have Static Waves and Ishmi pushing to the farm. That's where they should have gone. But here they've got the f they've got the trees blocking off. Fire team and Pitch and Juliet seven. Uh, Juliet seven one. Oh, wrong comps. Juliet seven four. Wrong. Fast. Oh shit. Sorry. <laughs> And, and into the I hope this is dead. Wow, nice. The Viper got, got tagged. As well. Grenades coming in. Viper eats a grenade. It's just Jericho. And Jericho goes down. It wasn't even the guys to the south, it was this squad that just walked straight through. No, they got wiped. BTR never showed itself. And the BTR barking very loudly. What are these guys doing? What in the world? Wait, how did these guys get all the way... They took a transport. Oh, they took a transport all the way over here. Oh. Questionable. I, I wonder about that. Anyway, it looks like we're getting another reset here before Russia start making their push into northeast side of town. Uh, that ha is happening soon, but it looks like they're still following their plan. To attack southeast Petrivka. They do need to look at north though. I don't know about that. The toe is blocked by some trees. Let's take a look at the toe position real quick. This uh, exoskeleton asking about the... Well, the toe has eyes in that position. They do not. If they push across the field, the problem is uh, this rock in their way. Unless they push through the trees, and in that case, they do have an HMG. So the HMG will have eyes on the uh, the vehicles, but I don't think the uh, I do not think the tow is going to be effective until, uh, or rather, unless the vehicles start to come out to this field. Rogue Falcon asking how the uh, SL roll gets passed down. That is correct. Um, so if the SL dies, it falls to a Bravo FTL. And if the Bravo FTL dies, it falls to a Charlie FTL. Uh, the difference being that if Charlie FTL is dead, or if there's no one to, for SL to pass to, uh, that squad loses command, loses the SL role. Pretty much 200 from this little shot. Yeah, I'm on the roof. So there is no command comms for that squad. If there is no FTLs or SL up. 
their entire platoon is Hello. rotating southeast towards uh, yeah, they're moving in the south south range. And it looks like we are going to have a south to north push here from Russia. The PTR is suppressing something. Oh, this uh, this is actually a stationary target. I wonder if Russia, I uh, wonder if British could try and take a shot at this. This is a very bad thing. The PTR is just sitting in the open. The tow would definitely be able to engage if it could. If you want to shift over on the east side of the objective. If it could see. The tow is going to have the best zoom out of anything here. I think potentially better than the BTR zoom. Although the BTR is pretty good zoom. We see Alpha Guido hat. Fluff's now getting eyes on what's going on up here. I think he's seen a lot of movement. Alright, I see him. <laughs> BTR's gonna move back. Oh. Move. Silas on the toe might have a shot. It's a pretty long distance shot. Where is the toe at? Uh, yeah, I was backing straight up to it. <laughs> shot goes out. You're fucking you just he shot the rock. The just, rock. Yeah. Toes, toes yeah, that's so hard. He clipped the rock. Ah. Oh, I can see. I think. Yeah, I can see the BTR. Yeah. Yeah. The rock doesn't show very well. Yeah. I knew that rock was going to be a problem. It's a little risky. You gonna walk me on? I can't see you. You can track well. it at least with a 50, right? You can <gasps> oh, Alpha gets the kill with the lat! That was a beautiful shot. Come in, whoever that was. Yeah, Guido got that. <laughs> he's gonna run straight to command. Oh, he's gonna go rearm. Bartak wants to blow up the other one. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know, they might only have one, who knows. Alpha's gonna go get some, uh, get a lat round here. Russia are really getting close now. They pushed a fire team pretty dang on close. It's a good thing British have a, uh, forward post here in the south. Oh, wait, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. One, I don't yeah, know one, if yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this enemy, this enemy. Start shooting. Shoot start, it. Start, start shooting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot, 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 shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Bowman said twice. Maybe one was a ricochet. Zanki goes down though. Start shooting. Oh yeah, let's go see. Alpha is gonna go brag to command. If you would like charge to that lone man down there. Oh yeah. Wait, he's dead? Enemy forces moving through Lower Pet, Juliet 86, and we're south. On gun <laughs> in the ditch to your south, Kilo 71. Yeah, I got that. We're tracking that. What happened to Alpha? Yeah, they're probably gonna come from that southeast. Kill the major. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm moving my Bravo team to you. Okay, oh shit, that's effective. Two in <laughs> he had a heart. He had a heart attack. You're seeing DCs because players are getting killed in the second round. They're probably just quitting to go watch the stream. Bowman still alive down here in the south. Is crawling away. Good on him. British are repositioning. Oh, the red smoke has gone out. Oh, Bowman. Shooting close as a hit on Ronnie Reagan. Oh, he's got a reload. Ooh. Ronnie goes down. For southeast. And this could turn out to be really, really crazy. Grenade gets thrown. Tank man just died from that. 
I think Tank may have just died from that frag. A little far, but it's possible. Russians are now circling Silas's position. Um, I wouldn't worry about it. Oh, wait, no, I hear the BTR now. They're mechanized? The BTR now, that's BTR's something to coming. worry about. BTR is on the southeast, east side. BTR is going to poke its head up and it's going to wreck this position. I think Russia knows that the uh, the toe is here. Ooh, and these... BTR not quite visible yet, but British are scattering. Russians, on the other hand, are going to be peeking their heads over the hill here. Yosh. Probably saw Sass on the rock here. Enemy contact. I'm sorry, kilo seven six four. They're, they're Yo, taking so pot shots. Oh shit! If you guys can get to me, I think you just killed fire. NSA spy. Down the tree line, we got contact south. Yo. Sasa, come to me as the BTR looms. Russia have a pretty good position, they just don't know it yet. And the BTR is... Oh, close east, here, in the bushes above. Oh, Bartok's gonna get a kill. Enemies, enemies, over noodle, over noodle, over noodle. One for two, you got infantry your side of the road, just south of Inky. Juliet 762. Trevi gets tagged through a bush. Bartok wants a kill. Bartok is salivating. He hears BTR, he moves towards BTR. Meanwhile, Russia have made entrance into the town. We're gonna take a look at that in a second. The BTR is zerging. Bartok gets a kill! Are destroyed now. Infantry just south of two breaching the town. Alright, we're gonna go take a look at the south action here. The Russian infantry are in the town. Zanki is already dead. And here we go. Right side of the yellow house, south of us. Right, silent Cap Morgan and Fulcrum front. front. Field to, my, to my left. Uh, yeah. We might. Both BTRs down. It's just infantry for Russia. Yeah, I got southwest. But they don't have a lot of tools to play with. That sounds like a. It might be a pot team to our south southeast. Do you want to pull back? Off the Ooh. Negative. Silent takes out. Throw a nade. And one's in direct contact, 20 feet south. Probably a pot team. Was it the Henny? Alright, hold your angles. Make this guy's pay for every building they take. There's infantry to the north. And Londart's trying to get his guys to hold out. Copy that, on the west side. I have a window uh, on the west I side. Do, I'm handling it. Hang on. Roger, make sure someone's watching high. Uh, there's a guy in the road. I'm gonna Roger, kill him dead. with fucking RPG. No, he isn't. <laughs> ah, alright. They're most likely gonna creep on the road because the rest of our platoon should be able to see him. Alright, one f at least one fire team in Kilo 797 <laughs> moving north. Silent in the bush. RPG goes out for some reason. Explode up that, but never mind. <laughs> yeah, I say that's traces. That's uh, 150 on the buildings, 150. I guess uh, Scottish was a little. Make sure you're watching the roof above me, right? In case someone hops up on that. Wait, Scottish from there got a hit out there? I don't know. Take a look back east. Lagar and Revy have pushed up. I think Silas is dead. Grenade! Contact 060. Grenade hits Redibus. Russia might have enough of a, uh, uh, might have, might have enough momentum here to keep going. Guys, you're at the north end, of, uh, east end of the rocks, east end of the rocks here. Get Matthias asking how to join One Life Ops. Uh, you'll want to... Go to squadops.gg. Grenades! Two grenades on Lagar. Command, one has a plan. 
join our Discord and uh, squadops.gg to register and look for a basic uh, SOTT basic course so you can join in all the operations on the calendar. Open up. Ranky gets shot up through the field. Uh, but he was crawling. So there might be more. Go with that. I re, uh, Copy. My grenade. So they are in the field. Yeah, I don't know if you see it, but uh, 115 from where I'm standing, there's a dead body in the field crawling. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah, but I don't see anyone. Yeah, I don't see anyone right now. This is 2 to 5. So guys crawling in the field. One below. Ooh, Russia are so far in now that they are putting right. crossfire onto the point. Got him. You got him. I think Silent just died. No, Silent didn't die. Point blank lat. Lon is just gonna run in here. It's gonna kill one that was bandaging. Silent puts a bullet into Lon as he does it. Bandaging. Are they in the field? Grenades. Uh, a little short here. Second grenade coming in. On the other side of the sandbag, Van Zier getting lucky with that sandbag behind him. He's immediately on my wall here, south of me. He's putting down an ammo bag, he's gonna throw another frag, getting cover. I'm fragging over the building. Immediately just over, over my, uh, my little wall That's here. That's my frag. Roger. Good. Oh, I don't know how you didn't get him, that sounded good. He's inside the building lawn. That's how you didn't get him. Russia still moving in. If we're losing the BTRs, Russia's doing pretty good right now. There's a lot more defense over here that they haven't encountered yet. Uh, Yosh tried to run up on a fire team that's prepared for them. Didn't go well for him. A couple of Russians stranded away from their elements, but there are still some organized Russian elements pushing. Oh, they're just chilling. They're just sitting up. Russians have moved in next door. Silas just went down. Oh, Silas did die. Just now. Unfortunate Russians on the uh, east side had eyes in. Wait, how? Revy runs in and kills Rain Man, it looks like. Shit, you're done. Revy's just gonna Rambo this. He's going straight for the red building and he's gonna find no radio. Infantry in Kilo 784. And infantry in Juliet 6. Does Noodle give it a shot? Oh, Noodle doesn't look through the window. Revy heard Noodle run, but I don't think Noodle's gonna pick that again for a hot second. Bartok is just holding off a fire team pushing north. He's shooting through a window, through a fence. That contact is moving north. Trying to push in from the northeast. Alright, let's fall back. Say? Fall back. One enemy infantry between us. Uh, no, that open ground where that dead body is, they can see. Revy. Don't on the corner. Noodles peeking the corner. Stay in the middle of the road. Revy missed the first shot. He took Noodle. Puts him down. I think Revy would probably thought he was close to the corner. Noodle's going to have a great position holding that. Meanwhile, the Russians are just in the open. Throwing grenades. Inky. Bad time. Oh, bad grenade. Boomer ran the rabbit. They're gonna breach the building. But DK Roy takes down two. And a third, and he hasn't been hit. Oh my gosh. DK Roy with the clutch.
is going to stop that southern push there directly towards the objective building. Uh, let's see. Meanwhile, Killer J has Danny Lingo right outside of his shed. And Danny Lingo's deployed. Not good for Killer J. He is definitely stuck, but I think he's looking for someone to come out of his north. I'm moving back just now. He's actually holding the inside angle here. And Danny is moving. Fuck. Danny took a shot at Noodle Dude and he's down. And Killer J's can definitely hear him reloading on the other side of his shed. Meanwhile, we got Gunny, gun Ashley, and Slasher, and Static Waves have a great position here. They're skirting along the north side of town. Move a grenade. Goes right off side Park Dog's window. Yeah. Park Dog crawls away. Yeah. I was trying to get eyes on you. Definitely a close game right now. Take a look at the map. Russia still surrounding Londarts down here. Londart still has a fire team size, or it's just him and Fisco. What angle is that? Fisco through a window, takes out Grimnir. Londarts takes out Silent. Oh, that's actually really dirty right there. Fulcrum putting bullets through the wall. I'll check it out, run. Just trying to suppress that window. Long tries to make an escape, and I think Cap Morgan just shut him down as he jumps through the uh, sandbag. Russia taking their time here, but uh, it is doable. Fisco needs to hold out a little bit harder here, but Fulcrum is running straight towards him. Fisco has got a concealed position. Squad one, uh, two to three guys left on me. Probably gonna go down soon. Fisco making a last call on command net. Fulcrum's gonna slice it, but he's not looking. He sees the barrel. Wait. He didn't see him until he moved. Team. And there goes Fisco. So now it is just the northeast side. Gunny yeah, eats a grenade though. Ooh, that's unfortunate. I'm behind you. I'm behind you. He I'm ate it through the uh, the stick fence. Up here. So it's just liberal, who is literally doing nothing but watching the door to the objective. I don't think he's actually going to be seen. Oh shit. If you didn't know that triangle was there, could you see liberal right now? What if it's if not? I don't think so. Static waves and Danny Lingo are the only Russians back up here. Northeast side. Camp Morgan, Balchik, Run, Fulcrum closing in from the other side. So it's five on three. No, five on four. DK Roy is still up in the center of town. Bartok and Static Waves trade. Nice shot there from Static Waves. Bartok had him dead to rights, but Static still makes the trade. Huh? DK Roy stranded by himself. It's just liberal. Snowfall. Uh, is freaking out. I think he wants to leave. Russians put smokes. This wall, northeast, east. Yeah. Oh, okay. Copy.
Camp Morgan just throwing all of his uh, I saw one smoke markers out. Uh-oh. Uh, west, 255, around my... Yeah, I see him. Morgan is visible. Oh, DK got him. Oh. What a shot from DK. That's four for him, right? DK on five. DK Roy MVP for British here. Snowfall is falling back into the building. Lo uh, sorry, Lib is still watching any movement through this uh, through the field here. So we have now three v three. Snowfall Lib short defense. DK Roy is off point. Brown checking out. Run and Fulcrum are now pushing in and. Uh, Danny Lingo starting to push in himself. Lib is a patient man. Lib's been around the block for a long time. I think he knows what's going on. Volcom's looking through. I wonder if Volcom's trying to find another angle. He might run into Liberal here in the field. Oh no. Oh, lip misses. What you got, Lebro? Lip heard him jump over the wall, and he was just off with Where this burst. They? British side, we got Liberal pundit. Liberal. DK Roy and Snowfall. I don't know. I Bound chicken outrun gets tanked by snowfall. I hear bandaging. You have a frag? If Lib has a frag, he gets a kill. He might get more than one kill if he had a frag. I don't think he does. Volcrum and Danny Lingo and Bouncheck Alron are moving out of the field, though. I don't think they like pushing through. Uh-oh. Snowfall can't see. He's got the field in his way. Russia still have Bouncheck Alron, Fulcrum, and Danny Lingo. Liberal Pundit and Snowfall and DK Roy still up for British. 3v3. After losing the BTR 80s pretty early on in their push, Russia have turned it around. Trading well. And continuously putting pressure on the outside British positions. And it's all folded down to this. Russia looking to take more snipes from the outside walls. And from this approach, they're going to have to... They're assaulting buildings. Blind firing. I think everyone is fired now. Fulcrum and Bow making moves. Snowfall doesn't have eyes on this yet. Maybe he does now. No, Snowfall is going to go prone and hold the tight corner, I think. The only way in without jumping the wall is this entrance right here. I don't think the Russians have grenades. Lawn is, or sorry... <laughs> Liberal is looking north east now. He may have spotted someone running across. He doesn't have much view. He can only see. Maybe he can. Yeah, there we go again. I'm he I hear them here on my east side. Just DK the Roy side. has audio. Copy. Excuse me. DK Roy has audio. It's getting tense as Russia decide to start pushing now. DK Roy has their number though. 
They're all inside the building. They're all making noise. You can hear them all. I think he's just going to jump the wall. I don't think they know what they want to do. It's the sad thing about the squad. You can't hear what the uh, other guys are saying in local. And I guarantee you they're all talking in local right now. Snowfall repositioned to a bush might have eyes if they come around the, the south corner here. And it looks like that's what they want to do. Russia stacking up. Smoke grenade coming out from Danny Lingo. That's a pretty good throw. Yeah, just threw a smoke over. Definitely on the east side. Just hold what you got. That and might block off Lip's vision of the road. Copy. And here they come. DK is going to have at least one kill. But Snowfall kill. grabs it as Fulcrum runs up to the edge. The 3v2. Yep, there's another. There's another. On the road. On the main road. Wherever that gunshot's coming from, my friend. Just... Just be patient, just be patient. They'd only know about me so far. Bow check out run is gonna run around to another building to get eyes north. But he's gonna hold an off angle in case they push. Danny Lingo is still holding the hard angle prone. Oh, who threw the smoke? Snowfall, you just throw smoke. I did. He threw something he threw something at me. I'll throw something at him. <laughs> oh, bounce check out, run in the open. I just didn't know if they were coming from the south. DK, Whoa. DK on full auto. Oh no, Danny comes around the corner and just executes Roy. I really hate you. Lib puts a bullet into Danny and Snowfall go from the other angle, and that's it. Lib and Danny save the day. Or sorry, Lib and Snowfall save the day. Danny's dead. That is GG. Good job, guys. Oh, okay. Nice job, liberal. I think Snow just uh, stole lip kills there, Hell but yeah. lip back with a vengeance. Yeah. Wow, that was amazing. Snowfall on five. That was good. Stuff. GG, boys. Man, that was good. <laughs> hey, you got a kill. And that is going to. Do it for us.